Hello, I am your fave nurse B. Today I want to talk about a very highly requested video, how to study for pharmacology. Now I have plenty of videos about how to study while you're in nursing school, nursing prerequisites, pretty much all of that as far as charts and how to read the textbook and all that good stuff, how to do uh, flashcards, all of that. But specifically, we're going to talk about pharmacology itself. Now, before we get into the video, make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe. I want to know, are you in pharmacology? What issues are you having? Um, what drug like class do you want me to go over? Because I'm going to have a huge series actually going over each drug class, um, specific drugs within that class, how they act within your body, the side effects, all that good stuff. Like I'm going to we're gonna get this done, okay, y'all? So let me know what should I be doing next. And consider subscribing because I do plenty of videos for nurses, CNAs, CMTs. If you wanna go on to nursing school, if you wanna know more about how to get into nursing school, if you're a new nurse, you wanna pass NCLEX, whatever the case may be, I'm here for you. I am your fave nurse B. So the first thing with studying pharmacology is that you need to understand that your main focus has to be understanding the way that drug itself acts within your body. So for example, the next uh, series of videos I'm going to be talking about antihypertensives and one of the antihypertensives that I talk about is beta blockers. So the way beta blockers work within your body is that they block beta from um, adhering to receptors on your heart. And what that does is it decreases your heart rate, thus decreasing your blood pressure. Now, just by me understanding the action of beta blockers, I know that, okay, if this is going to decrease my patient's heart rate, oh, bing, that pops in my head. One of the things I need to teach my patient is to check the heart rate before taking his medication. Or one of the things that I need to know is I need to check their heart rate before administering it and hold it if it's too low, yada, yada, yada. That right there is just like two or three different NCLEX questions, two, two or three different med surge questions or pharmacology questions right there just because you understand how this medication works within your body. And on top of that, once you understand the action of a medication, then you can start to kind of get an idea of the side effects. So if what it does is it's supposed to lower your blood pressure and also lower your heart rate, then one of the side effects is that it's going to work too good and you're going to have a low heart rate or low blood pressure, right? You know all that just by understanding how this drug acts within your patient's body. It's so important because it's just so many things you have to look out for. So if you can just focus on that, everything else will come to you, okay? So the next thing that I would say is to do concept maps. Now, the next two videos I'm gonna be posting, I already did some concept maps about um, antihypertensives and beta blockers. And I have photographs of actual charts and concept maps and things of that nature that I studied off of while I was in nursing school for pharmacology up on the Your Faith Nurse B Facebook group. So make sure you go check out our Facebook group. There's plenty of help and resources on there. Just go to the photo section and you'll be able to find um, these photos of concept maps that I did while I was in school. Now I say do concept maps because it's a good way to just take one drug. Um, I wouldn't necessarily just do one drug, but like I, I did drug classes. So you might have a little section within your concept map that talks about the actual disease. Then you might have an area that talks about the action that took place um, that happens when the patient takes that drug. How does it work within your body? Then you have adverse reactions, which is side effects. Then you have an area that's just uses. Why are we taking this drug? What does this drug help with? Then you have patient teaching. Boom, it's all on one sheet of paper. And I have another video just for concept maps, so go watch that. But it's one sheet of paper that you can carry around like you can see. I put mine in these little plastic sleeves you can get from the dollar store. And carrying this around is a lot better, easier, and um, less like over the top than carrying around a huge textbook. Like you can take this to work and not look so obvious like you at work studying versus taking a big old textbook. They gonna be like, okay, you need to take that, like do something with that. Definitely you can take this um, to clinicals, whatever the case may be. So I definitely say do concept maps. It's just a good way to take information from the book and put it in your own writing. And especially if you're a kinetic learner or a visual learner, you can see the colors and you can write like little stick figures and stuff and just little symbols to help you remember stuff and shorthand, all that. It's a good way to get information just on one sheet of paper for you. Also do flashcards, which I have a video about flashcards, but talking about flashcards, when I was in nursing school, I used this farm flash, which I think this was pretty awesome. Like, even though I like to make my own flashcards, it was just times where you just don't have time. Plus these flashcards have so much information on them. When you open it, it's like 
all sorted out. It has an index that tells you specifically where, tells you where specific drugs are at within here. And then say like your professor says, I need you to learn blah, 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 like five different drugs. You just take out those five different drugs, keep them in your purse, keep them in your scrub tops, whatever the case may be. Take it to work, take it with you while you're doing anything really, um, while you're at clinicals. And that's just something you could just pull out. You don't have to take the time to make your own flashcards. I still like making my own flashcards because like I said, you're putting it in your own writing and just the process of you reading something and writing it, maybe talking about it as you're writing it helps you to learn it. It's all about repetition with pharmacology as far as remembering drugs um it's all about repetition and just memorization and then it also has like the number so you know you put it in the right spot like this is 87 like I, I think this is just good it's good stuff so i have a link to it in the description box that you can use it's just you can get it on amazon they are a bit pricey but i do recommend them they it was part of our nursing curriculum to buy them so we bought them we had to we had no choice but anyway so these are the anti-anginals and anti-anginals anti-fungals and like one of them is diflucan and they might have a few of them on here and if you go to the back it has all this patient teaching all of these side effects um the way it acts in your body the uses all of that like this is just uh, it's just perfect to me and then it has you know drawing so that you can it helps you to like visualize it as you're going back and thinking when you're doing a test thinking about the flash card what it look like and i just think it's really helpful and has a lot of information but again like i said you can you you can make your own flash cards just sometimes you just do not have the time another thing that really helped me in learning about pharmacology is you have to look at an actual patient that's taking these drugs so like if, when you go to clinicals and they have you like write down all your patients meds and then you have to look them up and all that good stuff like actually take the time to look up those medications once you look up those medications look at your patient's um history because you might be thinking somebody is taking a beta blocker because they have hypertension and you look through that patient's like um history like their diagnosis and they don't have any type of hypertension and you're like what the heck they're probably taking it because they have like an arrhythmia something like that so you you need to understand that not every drug not one drug of course can be used for different things but when you like can apply it to an actual person it just makes it real because in nursing school a lot of what you learn it just seems like you're, it's like just in fairyland. I don't know because you, you're not really applying it. But if you can apply the information to an actual patient, I think it'd be a lot easier for you to understand it and to remember it because it's just there. You just see an actual person. You know what they're taking. You know what type of diseases they have. You talk to them about side. Like, have you have you felt this way before? Have you felt that way? You can talk to them about side effects. You know, they was like, oh yeah, because I have patients that be like, when I started the antibiotic, my stomach was hurting so bad. I don't want to take it. That's like a common side effect with antibiotics. That's a common side effect with anything is nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. So boom, right there, they can help you remember that that those three things are always going to be the case when it comes to pretty much every drug because it has to be metabolized within your uh, GI system. So it's, you're going to have some issues um, with drugs, most drugs, pretty much. All right. So apply it to a real patient. Something that's really easy in that, I mean, like this was like a lifesaver is that typically the end of a drug tells you um, what class it belongs to. So when we talk about beta blockers, again, um, OLOL -L is the uh, ending of most, pretty much all beta blockers. It's um, so like metoprolol or propranolol, all law. So basically you can like, I'm gonna have a video talking about the ending of drug names and how it, you can um, remember those so that you can remember that drug class. And so with beta blockers, I say, oh, laugh out loud. like. Like beta thought it was gonna come and I was like, oh no, 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 laugh out loud, you can't get through. Like I'm blocking you, you know. Something corny like that. So help you to remember it. Um, you have to just come up with it. It's plenty of stuff here on YouTube you can look up as far as like songs. I'm telling y'all, like do whatever it takes. Little songs and raps they have about different drugs, like just get yourself immersed. That's the whole thing with nursing school is that you have to just be immersed into the subjects. I can say that there's some specific things you need to know about pharmacology gotta fix that y'all i can say there's specific things you need to know but really across the board everything is just you immersing yourself in the class you know when you're on break you're listening to stuff you're looking at stuff you're talking about it you're visualizing you're you just have to 
be in it and i know i said that in another video like you have to be in nursing school it can't be like a casual thing it has to be very much your entire life okay something else you can do is just change your approach to how you look at pharmacology i know a lot of people they feel like oh i gotta learn all these meds like what the heck like this is so stupid but at the end of the day modern medicine revolves around i don't know what medicine like that's just the world we live in you you go somewhere you go to a doctor you say i'm not feeling this way i'm feeling this way boom you get a med like that's the answer that's what medicine is about nowadays i know you know it's kind of controversial there's a lot of stuff going on with public health where people want to make it so it's more preventative health and things like that but at the end of the day as nurses we pass pills we treat signs and symptoms so you must understand pharmacology i also understand like this stuff these drugs and everything you're not gonna learn all of them you're not gonna understand all of them you're not gonna remember all of them it's gonna take you working in the field and seeing real patients and seeing these drugs over and over again when you're done with nursing school i still look up meds like that's a new i never heard it i look it up you know get your notepad so write it that's when you start to start writing down stuff that you didn't even realize was out there in the world um as far as meds you know you have to keep learning in this field and just know that this is something you gotta learn like you gotta do it but just so you know some um some programs they integrate pharmacology with like their med surge sometimes it's pharmacology is a separate class then you take med surge so just know that if you don't understand a drug or action or you kind of forget stuff it's gonna come back up for you so for instance we have pharmacology before we even had med surge which i think was so crazy so before we learned about diabetes or high blood pressure or any disease we was learning about the meds but i thought that was so stupid i feel like why not just integrate it but anyways we learned about the meds first and then once we got into med surge and we actually learned about the diseases guess what the meds came back up again so use that as an opportunity to relearn this information it's going to keep coming up that's like the beauty of nursing is nursing school and nursing in general is everything keeps coming up everything builds upon itself so don't get too beat down on yourself you're like i don't really understand this i don't really understand it you're gonna get it you have to just be persistent with and try new and different things i am going to be coming out with some videos of me literally just what i'm be doing i'm gonna have like some type of background and i'm gonna be talking and i'm gonna say the drugs i'm gonna say the action i'm gonna say the use and the side effects and the common dosage and then i'm gonna go to the next drug i'm just gonna be saying it for you all hopefully like an angelic like i don't know ethereal voice and it's like you can just keep listening to these over and over again like it's good for me like as far as auditory learner is to just keep hearing something over and over again i will listen to lectures while i'm studying i will listen to lectures while i'm driving like just to hear it over and over really help me so i'm gonna be coming up with more videos like that but you can do that yourself you can have a whole list of meds and you just sit there and you just record yourself saying the med narco this helps with da 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 da, da. the side effects or constipation the normal uh dosage is da, da 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 like keep going you know and just keep doing it boom 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 and then just listen to it over and over and over again to help you to remember it so like i said i'm going to come out with those videos like i'm actually doing this y'all like i'm doing it okay i'm doing it i'm not just gonna say i'm doing it. i'm gonna do it for y'all so let me know if you think that's gonna be something helpful like i said let me know in the comment section what you want to see next as far as um the drug classes that i'm working on um just let me know okay also with the changing your approach when it comes to pharmacology is look at it as a chance for you to relearn some of the things that you might have forgotten about like i said everything builds upon itself so with me looking at beta blockers I was like oh you know what yeah i forgot that most beta block beta receptors are on the heart you know they're somewhat throughout the body but they're mostly on the heart boom that right there is a and p you know what i'm saying like certain things like that comes back up for you so if you had struggled in a and p you could look at pharmacology as a way for you to kind of reinvigorate or reiterate some of the information that you learned in prior classes and also when you look at the drug actions this is why i say drug actions are so important it helps you to understand the disease process so much better like pharmacology is a really really amazing and interesting subject don't get bogged down with it like oh it's so much drugs i have to remember it's just memorization i told you once you understand the action of the actual drug that will help you like tenfold okay 
the drugs are nothing remembering the drugs and you know side effects is nothing because a lot of the side effects are the same especially when they're within their wow especially when they're in the same drug uh, group or class they're pretty much the same side effects you might have a few things that are a little off and you're like well that's completely different which i will be talking about that in the next videos to come um but for the most part side effects are the same um patient teaching most things are the same you know um of course there are certain things like you cannot take this with any other meds or you need to take this 15 minutes after waking up sitting down drinking a whole glass of water like there's some weird stuff with certain meds but you're gonna remember that because it just like it doesn't always happen you know so like i said don't be, be discouraged don't beat yourself up about it know that it is a big part of it it's just memorization um and just see it as an opportunity to to revisit some things that you learned prior and also to get you prepared for med surge I just feel like it was so stupid that they separated though but I think a lot of schools are integrating the two um pharmacology and med surge let me know is your school doing that so yeah let me know what you all are looking forward to seeing like I'm so grateful for the platform that I have for you all so make sure that you follow me on Instagram your fave nurse be number one also the fave nurse be Facebook group like comment and subscribe and i'm pregnant y'all and i feel like i did pretty good in this video so if you all want to see more about my pregnancy my life as a mom all that good stuff go to my second channel stay forever true all right thanks for watching peace <laughs>